Hey guys, how do you do? I'm Karen Adamski with shamamama.com and today I wanted to uh, teach you how to sense energy uh, with two very easy exercises. Um, the first one's going to teach us how to feel energy and the second one is going to teach us how to see energy. So uh, it's something everybody can do. You don't need to be, you know, a seasoned practicing um, intuitive to do this. It's something everybody can do. Now, some people will see the energy and feel it um, a whole lot easier. Um, some people may need to really practice at it. But don't get, dis get discouraged if you're one of those people because um, I was kind of in the middle, but it comes a lot faster than you think. And it's like, oh my gosh, once you understand it and feel it and see it, um, you don't really go back. You have that you won't lose that ability, I don't think. It's just, it's kind of like always there. You just see things and feel things very differently. So um, really quick, I wanted to share. So um, in terms of feeling energy, we have, you know how you have your chakras uh, that run up and down, you, you know, your body? We have other ch like chakras, they're, they're chakras, I guess. They're just much smaller, um, called nadis throughout, throughout our body, but they're um, prevalent in our feet and our hands. And that's where we as humans can really kind of um, feel them and or use them to feel, I guess I should say. Um, so a nadi is basically where there's a lot of nerve endings in, in like a, a bud or one group area. So um, you have them in your hands and you'll see people, you know, rubbing their hands together a lot, that kind of thing to get the energy flowing. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're waking up those nadis. Um, like, oh, what is that movie? Karate Kid, um, where Mr. Miyagi goes like that, you know, get started. That's exactly what I do. The clap wakes wakes up those nadis big time, and then this really gets the energy flowing. So you do that. Do that for, you know, maybe 30 seconds or so, whatever feels right to you. And then you'll slowly just kind of stop and pull your, pull your hands apart, okay? And you'll be able to feel... You'll be able to feel like, um, gosh, almost like tension. It's like an invisible, really rubbery barrier there. It's like boingy. You know, boingy is not a word, but that's how I describe it. And then I know when I was learning to do this, you can, you can, I kind of did that too fast, but you want to just see how far away you can go before you lose that feeling and then bring it back in. And bring it out and bring it in. I like to go like this because, you know, when you when you get that energy moving um, back and forth, moving around, it's it's getting stronger. So I like to just sort of play with it like that. But it's kind of like pulling taffy. Is not that I've even ever pulled taffy, but it's what I envision. It's like, it's like yeah, it's just really cool. Then you can kind of make what we call a chi ball. You just play around with that energy. Try to shape it into the shape of a ball. You know, some people have <laughs> some people have really big balls, and some people have smaller balls. The size of the balls of your chi ball does not matter. Um, you know, you do what's right for you. It could be a really small ball of super duper compacted energy. It could be a big ball of you know kind of wispy diluted energy. So the size of your ball doesn't matter. Do what feels right. And just play around with it. This is feeling energy. You can't see it, but boy, you sure can feel it. Um, oh, that's my friend Connie, I bet. Nope, that's my friend Pam. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Whatever, you know, just, I ask if you, <laughs> uh, if you do this, don't just drop your hands and run off. You know, you've got a lot of good energy right here. You know, do something with it. Just, you know, here, I'm going to give it to you. That's how I just like flick it. Some people just sort of shoot it. I flick it. Because that's what feels right to me. Anyway, so there you go. So that's how you feel energy. It's awesome, you know, when you're sitting on the bus or you're sitting waiting for a meeting to start or whatever, you know, you can you can play around. You'll get better at it and it's fun. It's really, really fun. It feels awesome. Okay, now for seeing energy. Excuse me, my mouth is just like super duper dry. And that's super hot. 
Okay, so for seeing energy, this is really, really cool. Um, anybody who's practiced Reiki at all or has dabbled in that probably already knows all about this, but it's a whole lot easier to see energy than you think it might be. It's really cool. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do for this practice is um, to get a black cloth or a dark cloth, something solid, um, that we, you can hang over a picture frame to use as a background or... Um, or just, you know, if you have a dark wall or something, use that. You just want some sort of a solid, um, dark background. So what I'm, I'm going to grab my, uh, my music stand. And then I've got my, I just have a shawl here. So I'm going to just sit that over. Okay, so the reason you want this dark background is so we can see the contrast. We're going to be playing around and looking at the energy connected between our fingers and our hands. And typically when you see the energy around an item, um, whether it be living or, you know, a water bottle, whatever it is, you know, when you see the aura of something, the energy around it, it's typically white-ish or light-ish, I guess. You know, it's it's typically not a dark, dark color right away. So, um for when you're learning to see energy, it's really great to use that back black background. Okay, so what we're going to start out by doing is put your two fingers together, and we're just going to keep it here for a couple seconds. I don't know, 10 seconds or something, okay? And then what we're going to do, what we're doing right now by doing this is, you, I've got my, the energy is flowing from this finger to this finger, back and forth. They're connected now because we're all energy, right? You know? E equals MC squared. What is that? Energy equals matter. Oh, shit, what is it? Sorry. Uh, matter. At this matter and something about the speed of light squared. Matter and speed of light squared equals MC squared. Basically, though, what I'm just getting at is uh, it's, and I, I remember it's funny from school, all I remember is E equals MC squared, and it was all about Albert Einstein. I don't know if he was the guy behind it, but now I get it that it's energy equals matter, and matter equals energy. So, you know, you connect your energy, and it's it's connected and stronger. So then you break that energy apart, and it's not just cut. You don't. It's not broken apart. That there's energy in between my two fingers when I pull them apart. That's still connected, even though my two physical fingers aren't. You'll be able to see when something's broken apart, how that's still connected by energy. So it's really cool. So, you take your, your background. See if, got to see how I'm doing this here. Now you're not, you're probably not gonna see the energy here, but what I'm gonna do, so just, just I'm gonna do this myself as, as a teaching aid, I guess, for you. Um, but you're not gonna see what I'm seeing on the screen, I don't think. Um, so I'm gonna take my fingers apart and what I'm doing with my eyes is I'm focusing on my fingertips and that space between them. And I'm letting my eyes kind of gaze to the, bl the black background. So I'm not focusing just on the fingers. I'm not focusing just on the background. And I'm letting my eyes just really get ah, comfortable and soft okay so I'm not I'm not crossing my eyes or getting so crazy that I'm seeing double or it's super blurry it's just a very soft focus and what I'm seeing is a glowing white it's like a white outline around my fingers I can make and then it gets and then it gets like a darker black as well so it's kind of white and black together There's some blue in there and you can make the energies touch and then like right now, they're not quite touching. It's like I keep having to pull it because they keep going back and touching. They want to be connected. So you can play with this energy, you can move it around. Okay, I can put my other fingers in there and see, see the, I can see the outline of, all, of, of my hands. So it's really, really, really cool. That I had to practice um, longer than I did the, the feeling. But it's cool. It's worth it. If, if you don't get it right away, just keep trying because it's very cool. I wanted to show you, too, you can do the same exercise with a crystal. And I always like to do this with a, with a good 
sized crystal with a uh, point because most of the energy comes right from the tip. Although if you have just, you know, like a little two inch point, use that, it's still gonna work. Um, what you wanna do, same kind of thing, just really gaze at the piece. I, I'm like, what, 12, 10, 12 inches away, my eyeballs from the crystal. And then there's about four or five inches with the background here. So whatever feels right. And then I just, I've got it right there. I can see, I can see the aura of the whole crystal. But you, what's really cool here is you can then see the energy coming from that tip. And then you start moving it around. And it's, it's just cool. It's really cool. It's like magic silly string in slow motion or something. It's just so cool. Anyway, play around with it and see what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. You can so do this. It's, it's way easier than you think. And I swear, you'll start looking at things. You'll look at a plant, a flower, your water bottle, your um, coffee mug, whatever it is. People, your friends, the cars, um, everything. Everything is energy. And you start seeing the differences and you start seeing that glow and that aura around things. And it's, it's really super cool. So, Hope you're as excited about all that as I am. I will um, I'm, have another couple of videos I wanted to do this week, so I'll be seeing you soon, okay? Namaste. Be well.